Right guys, we are on the way to Britain's Strongest Man, Sheffield. We are on the Tom Stokeman Bang Bus. I bought this especially for events like this. We've got one girl on it, so uneven ratio, but anyway. We have got Sinead, Simon, Alan, Sean, and James. Can you see my eyes? Yeah, in the shake? Can you see that? Well, the weather's shit. Uh, the driver's shit, but well, we're getting there, so yeah. Who are ya? 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 Approximately 10 hours later. Right guys, hope you enjoyed the travel down. The snow, the wind, the rain while we were driving. We have now arrived in Sheffield, the Crown Plaza Hotel. We are down in the gym. We are going to do some sponsor photos and videos today. Get ready for the competition. Just chill out and you know, do the normal things we usually do. What's that noise? It smells like an Irishman. Where are you? Usually. When you, when you hear an Irishman, you know there's a pot of gold nearby, or a potato. <laughs> That's my penis. <laughs> What's Howard Wire? The Limerick Lion. The Adonis. You know, you see him so really well. We're, um, yeah, we couldn't see him because he landed into the wall. That was a joke if you didn't get it, guys. Ha, ha. We're going to do a collab with Pat and the sauna. Stay tuned, because we're going to get spicy. Uh, us later now. Anyone that... Uh, this goes on OnlyFans. 50-50 split, please. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend is Britain's Strongest Man, as you all know, and a big part of our training is <laughs> shut up, man, you f***ing right? um, Training, recover. Oh, f sakes. Sorry. I can f***ing see that. In the bar. First cut. What's up, guys? <laughs> Yeah. Is that it? And it's a finger. <laughs> we are the Stolen Brothers and we are here to leave a legacy. Okay. Shh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Go up>. uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What she got? So guys, sometimes I like to change things up in my recovery. I know I said I like my leg sleeves, but I also like my arm sleeves. Biomaster. What's that button do? Nothing. What the? It's right. So, guys, get these things on. Jeez. Done. That's, that's how you do it. It takes no effort at all. <laughs> Welcome, Mark. Yeah. So hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to finger. First you need to spin it. You need to shove it right in there nice and deep. So you need to switch it on first. We got five different levels. You got the amateur, which isn't much good. You got level two, which is whore. Level three, which is prostitute. Number four, which is hooker. And number five, you marry her. <laughs> So that's all the sponsor stuff and all that kind of, you know, the stressful stuff kind of done. So now we're going to be getting ready for the competition, get some recovery done. So as you guys know, myself and Luke have partnered up with Blood Lab. We're officially working with them. So they, they have come all the way to Sheffield to give myself and Luke an IV drip pre-show. pre, uh, pre um, show. This is just a hydration one saying it's got B12 and some other kind of uh, supplements to help you get um, hydrated bit more energy and some vitamins in you as well before the competition so one more thing as well the blood group are now going to be official partners of Giants Live so that's going to be massive for the strongman game taking our health serious you know looking after all the athletes so we cannot wait for them to be part of the team so anyway room 246 Simon's room let's go in and see what's happening Obviously, with him competing tomorrow, yeah, there's a lot of things that his body's going to be subject to. Yeah. The first one's going to be obviously dehydration. Um, so what we're doing instead, we're kind of giving him a little bit of an edge. Um, we're going to give him a, a bit of a saline drip with a couple of vitamins just to give him a little bit of a push prior to it. It's a, it's a very simple, very straightforward hydration drip. Um, and then we're going to go through a bit of his blood work that we did with him a few weeks back. So today we're doing a drip with Tom um, prior to his competition tomorrow. We have a very simple base of uh, sodium chloride, so saline solution, along with some B12, um, magnesium, 
vitamin C. Um, the B12 is going to give him a little bit more energy. Uh, the vitamin C is going to help with his immune system post competition. And the magnesium, fingers crossed, will help him get a decent night's sleep ready for his competition tomorrow. So as Chris said, it looks like a hydration kind of drip pre-competition. So, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not going to feel like anything straight away. It's still a touch tomorrow, but by the time I wake up tomorrow, closer to the competition, I'm going to feel very good. I'm going to have a great sleep tonight, hopefully. A bit more energetic tomorrow, and then, uh, yeah, after the competition, hopefully my immune system won't shut down as much and uh, be ready to rock. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. How did it affect you last time as well? Yeah, so last time, I, they came up a few weeks ago and uh, they did a blood analysis and they also did a wee IV drip as well. Uh, I think the IV drip they gave me actually was equivalent to 8 litres of water. See that? Hydration. You know? <laughs> 24 hours later I felt really good and then throughout the weekend I felt even better. Then Monday I did that 340 for 10 yeah, and I felt really good. Energy levels were good, body felt really good. Uh, sleep was really good the whole weekend as well, so yeah, ticked all the boxes for me. It was my, I think it was my first proper time doing an IV drip as well, and yeah, it was really good, so I'm going to add these definitely into my routine, but yeah, job done, and then uh, tomorrow as well is going to be a good result, so let's do it. Well, Luke's going to get the exact same treatment as me, and then the past, then they could do it, but I think with Paz, we're going to add Guinness to Paz, because he's Irish, Irishmen love Guinness, and uh, we're not going to tell him that for so... If he acts a bit drunk tomorrow, you know why. <laughs> right. How was it last time? I thought we had a decent sleep. Yeah, no, it was cocks. Yeah, slept well. That's a red potato juice, is it? And haggis. Yeah, do you want a red potato? Yeah. Didn't want to do. Blended. It was haggis. What's yours, haggis? Yeah, haggis iron brew. Haggis. <laughs> <laughs> that was so nice last night. What did you have? Uh, Friday. Well, What's it? TGI Fridays. <laughs> Something Friday. <laughs> well, we had a, the waitress, she kept coming round and... She kept coming round every time she came round. <laughs> Luke happened to be staring at his food, so every time she'd come round, he'd go... Oh... Mmm... <laughs> I'm gonna hurt her. <laughs> In my mouth. Basically, half of what's here is, is the world's strongest man finalist, really. So it's quite tough. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, any time you get to go against the world's strongest man in the competition, it's got to be one of the best competitions in the world. So, yeah, it's it's up there. It's a, it's obviously a different format from worlds and stuff, but you still like we still need to prove ourselves and do well because, you know, it's not too different from your strongest man, is it? No, which would be second behind world's strongest man. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. You know, Britain's is. Because it's the first one of the year as well, I think. It's, mm. You always want to start the year off right and do well. and It's the one where you can alter a few things. Say if something doesn't go quite as well as it should do, that's when you can kind of alter it and say, right, well, I need to do a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, um, and push things forward that way. guys so that's our drips done hopefully give us a little boost for tomorrow help us sleep well so we've now got to go down to athlete meeting see what's happening there we are then going to do some mobility with sean and some hot and cold so we've got a nice big sauna here and some cold showers so we're going to do that um and try and get some food in between and get a nice sleep and that'll be us and we'll see you later you don't mobility am i I can show you a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, Luke? We're going to do some mobility. Go I'm so focused this year. Go The night before the comp, we're just going to run through a, a bit of light mobility. We've got Pat and, and Luke here. We're going to do Tom later. Uh, we're just going to really chill out, though. Just do some long holds and. <laughs> Some long holds and just get the boys relaxed and, and ready to rest for tomorrow, so it should be good. First off, we're going to do hands behind, kind of just for stability and balance. 
We're gonna start off down here, right? Jesus, so cheeky. So, you're so fast. From here, so far, your left leg. Right? You're gonna open that up as much as it'll go. Just nice and slow, so feel the hip a bit. Oh, yeah. Nice and slow, and then lift the opposite up with it. Down, keep your torso facing me. Lift the opposite up. Jesus, my belly's getting the way to the Once you hit your full, full range, go down. So 10 of them, okay? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. It's not easy. Drive the knees down. Easy, will do Back up. Nice Nice and slow. Feel the hips rotate. It's important. Down, and then we're doing ten of them. Okay. You're cheating. No, I'm not. Your hands on the chair. Don't stop. <laughs> oh. oh. So we should have two ninety degree angles. Back leg parallel. Twist your body around. Keep your back straight. And good morning down. When you come down, think about trying to pull this hip back in the way and push your belly down into your leg and then push back up. My belly's pushed in my leg. <laughs> so just push back up to the bottom leg. Ten of them. Yeah. That's fun. That's fun. My belly is so full. So full. <laughs> Swap side crunch, you've done 10. I don't even know. 17. Can you go as low as me? Okay. <laughs> On your last one, hold for 10 seconds. It's all right out, let your neck go over as well on that one. So I'm going to go. You're impressed with the flexibility. Three, two, one, swap side. I've been doing this for three years now, mate. Three years? A legacy behind <laughs> My legacy <laughs> is going to be <laughs> Look right, pa, you're right, so you're going to open that up as much as you can then. One leg straight in front, swing the foot into the inside of the leg, leg up and over. That's what she said. Leg up and over. So this leg goes up yeah. reverse way. We're going to do a long hold here, so set timer. How's it going for you? So we're doing two minutes here. So right. So, <laughs> with the opposite side hand, try and wrap yourself around that leg as much as possible. This? No left. <laughs> the one that's holding you up. <laughs> <laughs> you might have heard of, uh, sometimes they call me Tom Stoltman. <laughs> that's me, they use another man's picture. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually Tom. <laughs> Prove that you're Tom! <laughs> um, Joby. <laughs> oh my god, you mean Tom? Oh, you really are Tom. What's you. <laughs> <laughs> What's this do? <laughs> Stretches out your hamstrings, so we're just in pike position, keep the legs locked, keep the heels flat on the ground, and you should be stretching straight from the, like basically the top of the back of the leg right down to your heel. At the end of the minute, we're going to a downward dog, so keeping your legs where they are. Ugh. Arms down, and just walk it out. Keep the heels on the floor, and we're just going to walk. So left heel down, hold for a couple of seconds. Right heel down, hold for a couple of seconds. Zoom in my bottle. <laughs> I bleached it. <laughs> <laughs> Child pose next. Stretch out the shoulders and the lats. <laughs> How are they so far? Unbelievable. <laughs> Thoracic extension into here. So come and put your hands onto here. Okay, out of this corner. From here, you're going to lift your right hand up for five seconds. Keep the left down for lift. Keep going down towards the floor of the chest. Oh, oh, Three, oh. four, 
Five, this is my sex face. One, two, three, four, five, one more on each. Come on, 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 I'm gonna have to call up the number again. The number. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, mate. <clears throat> Hello? You're right, mate. Darren here. Hello? Hello? You're right, mate. Hello? Darren here. Uh, I don't you were talking to any of the guys, mate, but tomorrow tomorrow's been cancelled, mate. I was just saying, I don't know if you've been talking to any of the guys, mate, but tomorrow's been cancelled. Is that right, mate? Okay. Just something's come up here and we, we can't sort it out, you know what I mean? <laughs> he doesn't even care. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, that is the day before Britain's Strongest Man done. Um, so we just finished off with some milk, some mobility even. Um, Paz went up to his bed, Big Tom is out having a wee munch, I think he might come back and do some mobility, we'll see. But I'm going to head off to my bed. I'm quite tired, didn't really do much today, just chilled, but um, still quite a long day, so we will see you tomorrow where we do battle in Britain's strongest man. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy, and please don't forget to ring that little bell. <laughs>